Hey guys, if you're looking to figure out how to blog for Shopify in order to drive a lot of free traffic to your store, well, this video is for you, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano, agency founder, e-commerce brand owner, and content creator. And in this video, we're going to be talking about creating content on Shopify that drives traffic. Now, for many of my businesses, SEO and blogging are the key factors in driving leads and purchases. And I'm going to get into exactly how we do that using Shopify to find topics how to structurally write them and how to put them onto your Shopify blog in order to rank on Google. And like I said, drive a lot of that free traffic. Before we get into that, if you guys could hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. My channel is growing, YouTube likes it, and you know what? It keeps me going. So let's get into how to blog for Shopify. All right, so the first step is we are in my SEMrush account. Now, if you do not have an SEMrush or SEMrush account, you guys can go ahead and click the affiliate link down below. If not, we're going to skip through this. This is quickly just how to find a topic to write about and then how to implement that onto Shopify. If you want to skip ahead, you can click on the channel marker below. But let's get into SEMrush and topics. So my new brand that we're launching in the next few weeks is going to be a dog store. And with that, we're going to create a lot of content about dogs. So I just quickly did a search dog training tips and right off the bat I see that 210 people a month are searching for you do you tip a dog trainer so do we tip a dog trainer is going to be the topic of my blog so what we're going to do is we're going to log into my Shopify store and we're going to quickly just cl click on blog post now what you'll see is I don't have any like I said this is a brand new store so we are going to start with do you tip a dog trainer what to know all right so easy enough that title is actually what's called an h1 tag so that is going to be what google finds to be the most important part so that is going to answer the question that we found on semrush with the 210 people a month but we're not done yet if you guys are interested more about how to structure the blog correctly, you can click this video where I go into detail about how to become the topic authority in your industry to rank higher. But for the essence of time, let's just do this. Do you tip a dog trainer? What we want to do is we want to take these and open it up to see who has written what. And with that, we are going through and finding all these different H2 tags, holiday tips and bonuses, infrequent reasons to tip. And we're going to put that into our blog. So we're going to open up a Google Doc. And to make life easier for you, you can actually do all of the h tags within the google doc so when you copy and paste this into your shopify all of that data stays consistent so we want to know do you tip a dog trainer so here is just going to be the body paragraph followed by an h2 which could be how much should you tip your dog trainer followed by a body paragraph Followed by another H2, body paragraph, H2, other alternatives to money, followed by a paragraph, followed by an H3 that could be wines and cheeses, H3 of gift cards and certificates, H3 of uh, something else holiday bonus h2 special reasons to tip a dog trainer paragraph so once you have your blog created this is the overall framework that you want to use so you have everything tagged correctly so we have our h1 what you can see here we're going to do a body paragraph and then this is what's called an h2 tag which we will change 
that. We can get rid of the H2. Body crap paragraph, another H2 tag. And the H2s and H3s are basically like your outline that you used to do in school where you were doing subtopics of the overall topic. So then we're going to do an H2 here. And then we're going to do H3s because these are going to be bullet points that we want to get into. And again, the reason we're doing all of this is to simply provide the information to the user on whether or not you should tip your dog trainer. And that'll be an H2. So we're going to fast forward real quick and you will see a completed blog all about whether or not you should tip a dog trainer. So let's get into that. All right, so we're back. And like I said, we have a fully written blog piece, 899 words, which on average was more words than what ranked in the top three on Google. So as you can see, we have a beautiful blog. Now, the key is how do we get this blog to Shopify and how do we make sure that it's written and structured in accordance to Google search engine optimization? That's what we're getting into now. So we're gonna take this entire blog and we're gonna copy and we're gonna go back to my Shopify store. We're logging in. Now, we just pasted it. So as you can see, we can highlight this and we can look and we can say that's an H1. This is an H2, H2, which is correct. So you wanna make sure that you're going through and you're looking at all the different things, H1, H2, paragraph, to ensure that these tags are correct. And that will be coming from your Google Doc. So you have to do this step, whether in Google or on Shopify, making sure your H tags, your header tags are done correctly. And if you're looking for more information about Shopify SEO, click this video right up here where I have a 25 minute video about everything you need to do for your Shopify store to rank on Google. So everything looks good. We want to make sure that our spacing is correct because if you've ever been to a Shopify blog, some of them are double spaced. Some of them are very weird layouts. So you just want to make sure that you're doing everything consistent. Now, like I said, this was a 899 word blog. As you can see, we have absolutely no images in it. So we need to select a featured image. Now, the key to featured images is that we need to edit image and write alt text. So the alt text needs to be in accordance to whatever the blog topic is. Should you tip a dog trainer featured image? Done. Then we need to start adding images and we're gonna do the same exact process. Is it we're going to add an image and put it this image and we need to add the alt text so we double click on that and we're able to then format the image to be in accordance of what we want it to look like on the page dog trainer dog running away we don't i don't really like wrapping text but we do want it centered so there we go and we'll duplicate that process Now we're back. So we've optimized, we've added images, we've added alt text to the images. We're ready to get to the next step, which is going to be website SEO. If you guys are finding this video useful so far, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, and let's get back into it. So first step is essentially making sure that your page title is in accordance to both the keywords you're trying to rank for as well as your brand. So for this, do you tip a dog trainer, what you need to know. And then I always like doing a vertical chic, what to know, chic doggy booty. So now my brand name is associated with this title. So if somebody does skip over them, it is brand awareness. Then we're gonna go into the description. So the meta description can be something as simple as many, many people use dog trainers and have an amazing 
experience. But So now we have the URL and handle, do you tip a dog trainer? We actually want to get rid of the rest of that. Do you tip a dog trainer? Now remember, it's important because slugs are very important to the overall structure of your website. It is important because you can't have that long of a slug, especially on Shopify where you have blogs, forward slash news, forward slash page title. It's important to understand you want to keep the words as minimal and to the point as possible so overall we're gonna hit save so that is exactly how you optimize and publish a blog on Shopify. if you're looking for more opportunities on keyword research click this video up here where I get into the weeds on topic research how to structure everything how to find opportunities for your business I hope you guys found this video useful this is how you publish blogs on Shopify in accordance to Google to rank better and drive free traffic to your store. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check back. We're putting out two videos every single week. We're here to help e-commerce brand owners grow their stores. So make sure to subscribe. Follow me at official underscore Chris underscore Murano on Instagram for more vertical short form videos. And we'll see you guys soon.